I, I pray, pray. I pray, pray today I'm playing. Today I'm playing Half Life 1, but I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm playing Half Life Uplink. Wait. I'm playing Half Life Up Uplink, which was a demo, a, de a playable demo. Released before her. a playable demo released before Half Life One, the main game was released before Half Life One, the, the main game released before Half Life One, released before Half Life One, the main game was. I don't know if difficulty modes are a thing on this with it being a demo, but it was released before it was released before the main game. It was released it was released it was it was released before the main game. It was released before the it was released before the main game was. The, it was released before the main game was. It was released. It was. It was released before the main game was, and it was. It was released before the main game was. It was released before the main game was, and I've never played it before, so this is exciting. So this is exciting. It'll be my first blind vid game playing in a video. So let's try it and hope I can do it without my old CD acting up too much. Without my old CD acting up too much. I need to do it again. It's exciting though. Ooh. See. Okay, just restart. Restart. I need to do it again. And again. I need to do it again. Welcome to the and again. Welcome to the HEV Mark Four Protective System. Oh, gunfire. Land the reactor complex. But this is towards the end of the game. In Half Life 1, the proper game. Who will we be evaluated by? Well, probably G Man, but I digress. Oh, oh crumbs, what's happening? Things have gone chaotic already. I don't like it. Ooh, but things could be bombed, it seems. Access tonight? Can I spray planes? Yeah. Uh, well, can I activate the controls? That's no. That's a no. You know, like, um, you know, like in the old, uh, what's it? The old TV game show, um, Family fortunes with the <laughs> no sound. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so we can't actually get through that uh, door. We can't actually get through that door, eh? Uh, um, so let's just see if we can spray paint these lights. Oh, uh, just yeah, yeah, we can cover them with the cats. Uh, 
Yeah, do you like my cat scraping? Say, baby, don't give us a talk. Anyway, let's see what we have in this place, eh? Debris. That's what? Yeah, it's so strange being in a Half-Life 1 game and starting here in the land of research complex, isn't it? I'll be stealthy, because I thought I heard gunfire when we were starting key. Oh, Open up the reactor complex so we can get down to safety. I'm sorry, but those doors will not open until we send the all clear. So send it already. I would love to do that, but the aerial bombardment has made a wreck of my transmitter. The cables are severed. We'd have to aim it by hand, and I'm getting high radiation levels in the transmitter dome. Nobody but a fool would go in there. What about this guy? Yes, you could survive in that suit of yours. Very well. I will lower security on the satellite access elevator, and you can go up into the dome. I'll try to help you over the intercom. Do I get a choice in this? Probably not. I can't use your controls, can I, at all? Nice light you've got here, by the way. Yes, let's go. Also, they say the same stuff as in the main game, and they still follow me around, even though um, it seems like they should probably stay here to monitor my progress and whatnot, doesn't it? Anything I can use here, and the, with these rather important looking controls, I wonder? And a spray painted chairs. Well, yes and no, but I digress. Baby Dove, you as a tome. Hangar 16, eh? Oh, well, she goes going out for making me nervous. I refuse to go another step. That's probably a bright idea, sunny gym scientist. Wait, what's that liquid sound I was hearing? Or is it like steam or something? I was thinking about using this as soon as I first came here, by the way. Oh, is it this steam? Yeah, it's this steam that's making the sound. Intriguing trees, Batman. Whee. Look at me, aren't I agile using this fall and um, good uh, to get up and down. Eh? Okay, then. I know what you're thinking, that you're getting annoyed at me wasting time when I'll your lives are at stake thing. here, aren't you? Roger that. Let's run like hell. What's your language, Barney? So, can you come in the elevator with me? No, you want me to go alone, don't you? You're blocked by that invisible... Or are you blocked by an invisible wall? That's seeming rather ambiguous, but... Yeah, it's seeming like he isn't going to come with me. He isn't meant to come with me, so let's take the elevator and see where it's... ...leads us, eh? After spray painting the doors like so, with our cute cat image here. Ooh, nervous. What's out to you? Ooh, Ooh no headcrabs or anything, is there? I'm hearing sounds. Alien sounds, scary alien sounds. Don't know what to expect. Ooh. Games are scarier when you don't know what to expect, Sonny Jim. Ooh. Looks like a crowbar in the Ooh. So that means that we're going to be fighting soon, I imagine. Or maybe it just means that we need it to break through these boxes. Which, that's probably the more likely hypothesis when it's all said and done. Maintenance area, eh? Here we are. With the cockroaches on the floor, because Black Mace has always had his cockroach problem, and now we've got a crowbar. Can I break this? But what if it blows up in my face? Make me look rather stupid, wouldn't it, eh? Okay, then. 
and oh, the cockroaches are getting in the in the vending machines. Can I squish you with um, drink cans? I'm not sure, but I'll leave that there in case I get cursed and I need to have a drink later on. And can we spray paint the windows? Yes, we can. But curiously not enough, we can't actually see the spray painted cat on this side. Okay. That's now a vent cover. It's a light, isn't it? Anyway. Oh, that's a plane that I'm hearing. And health here. With various syringes and whatnot. That sound keeps making me nervous. That door sound. Ooh. I was, why does it keep on doing it, even though I'm so far away from it? That doesn't seem quite right at all. Oh, it's a grab run. And beat it up when it's behind me, when it's got its back turned to me, because... Because this isn't a day and age in which we should be behaving in an or there's loads of them. This isn't a day and age by which we should be behaving in an honourable manner, is it? This is pure and simply a matter of survival. Oh, you're okay, Barney, that's oh, good. Glad I got this all time, what? Oh, I missed that, what you said? Yeah, we might spend a few months. Yes, sir, Barney. Oh. There's more of them there. Man, did you see that shot? No, I was too busy freaking out, sorry. So, there's no guards in the booth, unfortunately enough. Can we get in here? You see, in better days, there probably, will, there probably would be guards in here. Verifying our uh, entry into the complex as we were proceeding into the place. Preparing to go to work on a daily basis here, you understand? Oh, I pressed the wrong button when I wanted to spray paint. Oh, I've got a gun now. It's fitting that you'd find a gun in a place like this, though, isn't it? And we can't open the door because it's locked, sadly enough. But it looks like there's a shotgun in there, maybe, doesn't it? Oh. I'm just going to try spray painting the door, but my spray paint hasn't refilled yet. Maybe we can get in there later when we get a key card or something, eh? This is getting more like the dizzy games I often play by the second, isn't it? See you later. Yeah. Let's no, go. come. Come with me because these are scary times. And you never know what we might find. A head crab and a scientist corpse, it would appear. Anyway, I'll break this box. So it's out of the way for in case I need to um, run away. Or blow. Well, what I really mean is blow up that canister in case we find dangers in there. But it's a corridor and not a room. And I just smelled my pizza then as well. Even though I hold oh, there's more of them. So I can blow them up and preferably not get blown up ourselves, yes. That's precisely the plan here. You just see the cat face and the whiskers as it shows up on this little light or security alarm or whatever it is, can't you? How cute. Uh, Not much left of the scientist's body after we destroyed that canister, is there? Amazing how the, um, the cockroaches are still alive, though, isn't it? Oh, it looks like there's um, trip mines there. And I'm hearing the sound of heavy duty military ordnance as well.
Just testing my mouse sensitivity. Are we heading off into the great outdoors here? Ooh, ooh, there's a, oh, stop shooting me, Barney, you little be. Yeah, there we go. That was close. You stupid man. Uh, but still, at least we get uh, suit power. And it seems like difficulty modes aren't actually a thing here since the suit power gave me 15 armor points instead of the 10 that hard mode always gives me. Uh, yeah, so let's get the health pack out, shall we? Which uh, I couldn't get before since my health was full. And yes, let's proceed. So, presumably we need to blow up these uh, trip mines to progress, I eh? So I'd advise you to get, get, get back, Barney, because you could be hurt rather severely. See, even I was hurt a bit, and I, and I was really far away. So you could do with learning from my examples here. And it sounded like you were hurt as well. Yeah, it's ridiculous how that explosive force hurt me from way over there, isn't it? And I'm a bit nervous here, stepping out here, with how it's open to the sky in case, like, maybe a bomb comes through or something. Since there's the sounds of soldiers fighting out there, so let's get through. Ooh. Oh, I actually didn't progress all the way through, did I? Wonder if we can see out there. No. Okay. Let's press on. And don't block me if I need to run away, Barney. Anyone down here? Oh, soldiers! Oh, and these strong grenades. Get out of there, Barney. Oh, I don't think Barney made it. Oh. He just threw a granny. And it's exploded without hurting me, fortunately enough. Yeah, got him. Any more soldiers out there? Ooh, yes there are. But now I've got the submachine gun. There. Unfortunately I didn't get her much. Because I'm a pro, you see? Uh, yeah. So it should appear. Here we are in Hangar 16, which is um, referred to in Half-Life, the main game, when we're in the uh, surface tension chapter, you understand. So, what will we find here, I wonder? I can hear soldier voices. The voices of soldiers talking. Okay, control. Okay, control? What are they controlling? Or aspiring to control when all said and done? What could be their grand plan? No oh! Things blowing up under the air. And now he's dead, yes. But, will those soldiers have heard me fighting just then? In real life, it'd be just about impossible not to hear I wouldn't it. But I digress, when all's said and done, in this day and age of duplicity, deceit, deception, and dishonesty and double standards, the five D's is the cloak we we know, baby dove, you was at home. Anyone out here that I should know about? Make your presence known now, soldiers, or whoever else might be out there. 
Can't you just feel the cool breeze of the air outside? Eh? Starting to remind me of the early levels of fear, these places. Ah, uh, yeah, so... Can I get onto these boxes? Is there anything on them that should be, uh, that I should be interested in? Alert for what? Surely not little old me? Probably nothing on them. But I'll look again just to be sure. I mean, to see if there's anything on those distant boxes. But it doesn't really look like it. So... I guess I should press on. Whee! Ouch. Um, maybe I should go back and get that health now after that unfortunate fall. So I'll be back. Hope there isn't too far away to have now. Okay. Off we trot. So that we can press on and see what else this uh, unknown section of the Black Mesa facility holds for me, eh? Once we head up, up, to, up to ladder here. Oh, how could I forget these were here? There was no need to go back and get our health after all, was there? So let's get our suit power and spray paint the generator here like so. Yeah, so it seems like um, the difficulty mode is set at default on normal mode for this uplink mode, doesn't it? So, no door here, just a switch by which I presume that gate opens, perhaps? Oh no, the box is moving, so presumably I'll be um, using it as a platform to get out there. Yeah, let's go with that assumption. A little nervous about going out though. Oh, oh, so I've got to do it fast that way. So yeah, we're tough with the Half-Life games free now for being hard. It seems like this isn't a game for me to dally around in, doesn't it? This is so... Oh, I thought I was gonna fall, but in the end I fell just because I was panicking. Okay, let's do it now. Hiya! Yeah. yeah, so let's get steal ourselves for combat here. And let's go. Hiya! Oh, yeah, da -da. Ooh. Explosive organs flashing out like it's making me nervous. Ooh. Oh, what was that? What did they blow up? Can I use this? Oh yeah, I can get back in here now. That's a nice little touch. Means I've got places to run away to for if I need to run away. Given that I'm a highly timorous sort, you understand? Look at that glorious twilight night sky, baby dove, you as a toner. Hey, look, a ladder to climb up onto the crates. Or wherever they are. Ah. Seems like stealth isn't really a thing in this either, doesn't it? Oh, that's sneaky, isn't it? And just like that, I've lost near enough all of my suit power, haven't I? 
But you know, it is healthier and ammunition. Oh, did someone get a bad report card at school gear, I wonder? Not that I can tell what it says, but I digress. Can I use the radio? No. Well then, um, before I poke my head in there again, I'll just try the ladder over here to see which way I need to go. Hey, uh, and it can't see me over here, that explosive ordnance, can it? Anyone in here? Ooh, no. Can I get in this? No. Shipping containers is what they are. Took me a long time to remember, doesn't, didn't it? But suppose I'm not exactly a quick draw at the best of times. These are hardly the best of times. Oh, it's the I'm having trouble getting back out. So, I wonder what's the best way to handle this. With a heavy explosive ordnance out there. Maybe the direct approach? Such so as sticking my... Oh no. Such so as sticking my head through. And opening fire quickly. Ooh. It's bigger than I thought it'd be, but I saw a soldier out there too. So maybe he's controlling it. I'd imagine you do. Think of hearing vertigo and sounds too. It's taking me a long time to kill that soldier, isn't it? Finally. So is that thing still firing? And even though no one seems to be out behind it. Yeah. And can it actually be destroyed or not, I'm wondering? It seems not. Well, then I wonder what I should do. I mean, there's a turret there that, uh, that was firing like a rapid-fire machine gun as well, wasn't there? So, I wonder if it is still firing out of the soldiers, isn't there? Probably not. Yeah, I guess not. Now, well, this these shipping containers have faced a lot of explosive damage, haven't they? Let's make them more cheery to behold with the cat spray paint. Yes, sir, Bob, we will. And so, what now? Because, um, that uh, explodey uh, turret seems nigh on this indestructible, doesn't it? Seems like some platforming is what we need to do. And hope I don't fall and die and get made mincemeat out of. With the turret down there. Whee! Yeah. Ooh. Here we are, and now we've got grannies at our disposal. So let's see how we can best utilise them, eh? Is this a doorway to this shipping container? Yes, it is. Whoa. So, I wonder if we can destroy that uh, explosive ordnance now with our grannies here. That Garrett? Yes. That's a stroke of luck. Even though I got badly hurt myself, but I digress and there's health, yes. 
So let's hope there's not a soldier in there waiting to ambush me, eh? And make a daring leap in the hey oh, no. And I fell and hurt myself badly, even more badly. Which isn't good. Very well, we've got some serious artillery here, haven't we? I saw a movement, uh... So... You know, I would like to get that health before I progress. But it seems so hard to jump into, doesn't it? My laptop's feeling hot as well. Makes me wonder if I'm even supposed to be able to jump in here. Oh no. Yeah, I'm even worse off now. I mean, it does seem like an awkward jump, doesn't it, to where it's on that diagonal? But still, if I die, at least I'll get to maybe start with more health, all I. Oh no. Yeah, why is it so hard to make that jump? It's ridiculous. I'm going to try again. Figures to it be the jump in that kills me, wasn't it? Yeah, finally. And now we get the health. And yeah, I'm still not as well off as I was before, am I? Okay, then, time to go back. Ooh. Yeah. So, we have uh, turrets here, but... And an obvious exploded canister in there, but... I wonder if there's any enemies in there, since it'd be good to get up by the canister, the canister first. Oh. Yeah. But you know what, forget about getting that health. if he's still alive. I'm gonna get that health after all. If I can. Yeah, that jump is ridiculous, isn't it? Considering this is supposed to be an introduction to the game. And a game I've completed many times. Yeah, there's the health. Okay, then that's progress. Do you like that? Any other soldiers out here, I wonder? In this big open area? Which you can probably imagine there are. Oh. Yes, there is. There we go, he's dead. And I'm not hearing any more talking. So, maybe there's no more. What there is? So 
Sounds like there's more of them. At least the explosions sound further away now. So maybe we're getting further away from the combat. And I'll be able to escape this threatening, threatening place. Hearing vaults again. Wonder if that soldier's gonna come at me from over there. Seems like he won't. Seems like he's stationed at some kind of a high vantage point. Could do with some help. You know something. I wonder come to think of it, that's um I didn't get all the health from that um, generator, did I? In that big uh, this big room here. So let's get it. Very careless of me to forget. Lots of health from it there uh, too. 56 we now have. After spray painting our cute cat on it. Hey, uh, oh, oh, was he a granny? And it was a granny. Yes, for some reason. They're randomly throwing grenades over in that other courtyard. Our docking yard. Full of shipping crates over here. Strange how they seem to be hard of hearing these soldiers, isn't it? Well, after all this fighting, they're still just stood around in this place, waiting until they see me. Anyone else here? Other than that wanderer know about way over there? As we wonder which way I'm supposed to go. I'm guessing I'm probably supposed to go over that way where that soldier is at that high vantage point, which is why I'm checking over this way. But this could be the way to go, in which case I'll be heading back over there in the future. I'm hearing the sounds of hive hands. Which means alien grunts could be around. I wonder what's the purpose of this secluded little spot here. And if I need to get in there somehow, which I probably will, I can imagine. Or maybe I need to come out from there at some point. But what would I be coming out there for in just that little place? So, seems like I was right and that um, we do need to head over there and there's no way to get into this little watchtower here, it seems, no. Okay, then I'll try and take out that soldier who's in there. Oh. There we go. Making me nervous running around there. 
avoiding my fire like that. Presumably a sergeant that I took out there. Sounds like they're fighting aliens. I know I got him. That soldier in that watchtower. Seems like they killed a scientist before I could clear them out, doesn't it? There's more. You got that right. Uh, seems like that takes care of that little problem. Anyone else around here that I should know about? Oh, oh it's just a fire over there. So, if you don't mind, I'll collect your toys, your ammunition and the like. Ah, I thought it seemed, thought it seemed like that soldier was firing a shotgun at me. But... Because I'm expecting soldiers to be in the distance from me, wouldn't be wise to have a shotgun armed and equipped at this point in time, I don't think. That looks like some kind of communications dorm over there. Kind of like the radar sensors from the old Red Alert, Red Alert 1 game. And it seems like there's some much needed help there too. Any soldiers here? No. Okay, then let's get the health. Like so. And now we're in reasonable fatal again. Were these beds that the soldiers were sleeping on? Oh no, it's some kind of an infirmary, isn't it? Not sure whether it was good for me to spray paint that religious cross. In case it has Christian connotations. Seems like the makers of the game didn't really put much thought into preventing people from getting out of the map, does it? But I digress. So. I was wondering if I could get on that net. Seems not. So, can we go into this watchtower, I wonder? Even though there was a soldier there, seems not. Listen to those raging fires. What were the soldiers doing setting fires here, I wonder? This is a nice stony floor, isn't it? Could this be a spade? What were they digging for? A what? Is it alive? Oh, it's back turned to me. Is it impaled on a spike? After all, it doesn't seem to be moving at all. Could be a body. Probably a body, isn't it? And I'm just making myself look dumb. 
there since it appeared over bodies. What so this means there's aliens? And the government and the soldiers haven't told me so? What kind of a wild, wacky and zany world is this? Is this oil? Oh yeah, presume. Obviously the oil is how the name started the fire here, isn't it? Oh yeah, the vaults look quite different from how they ended up looking in the main game. A bit anyway. And I presume sooner or later we're gonna start finding live ones. But now I've seen these dead ones now. Makes me wonder if this oil would explode if I shot it. So I'll just spray paint it and fail in doing that. Do I have a flashlight? Yeah. Obviously I dare not go in here in case I get fried by those small but vicious raging fires. So let's press on and try to be discreet. As I crawl through this rock work here and hope I don't get rudely shocked by soldiers or forty boys. Is that the moon shining out there? Or just a bit of cloud, I wonder? Tough to say when all's said and done. Any wonder? Doesn't look like it. Nice backdrop this, isn't it? This little sand blasted canyon here with the dark sky, the dark evening sky, all loading the screen. A plunger. Could that be an explosive detonator? An eerie sight, to be sure. Don't like being ambushed, those soldiers, do they? Makes me wonder if I could have blown them up spectacular, but spectacularly with this, though. So yeah, maybe I wasn't being all that smart after all. Yeah, I probably could have blown them up. Seems like what I need to do to get in here, doesn't it? Wait a minute, and I'll let you in. Oh. So I don't need... Strange. Well, I have a soldier with a troll face ran up to it and blew me up over there. Well, I'll be heading in. I could imagine a soldier uh, blowing it up once I'm inside. Anyway, where's that scientist I heard? and sounds like radioactive sludge there. What's down here? Don't dare walk on that yet because knowing half-life it'll collapse under my feet. This is a rather curious chamber here, or silo. 
I suppose it could be described as being. Hiya! Can I get through here? So, I imagine that's where we need to go, that elevator. So, I'll try going down here. But at the same time, can I get back out of here? No. Yeah, I wanted to try um, breaking up that um, fenced off enclosed area to see if I could get in there with maybe we crowbar or, or something explosive and yeah so, so, but yeah let's try the see uh, and see if we can get through I wonder what that accomplished I guess we wonder if we can break this or something Guess not. Oh well. Let's try the elevator. I can I climb this? I wonder this lattice work here. You know, like in Red Faction, but it seems not. Okay then, let's head through the door, see where this elevator takes us. This very little claustrophobic looking elevator here. Ah, a health station here. Seems like it's taking us to the top of that silo. So this must be, uh, this must be that dome building that I saw from outside, eh? Makes me wonder if there's like a rocket here or something. UNCIA? NASA? Pentagon? And NATO, eh? And USNRC, or G, whatever it says. So, I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. Access to now. You want to work quickly? Tune the transmitter to the USNRC. I repeat, tune to the USNRC. And how do I do that? Am I supposed to point this at it? Ah. Excellent. I'm sending the all clear and the doors should open now. Thanks. I'll meet you down below. Oh, oh no. Can imagine those soldiers being able to throw grenades up to where, up to where I am. Not very, not very smart to be running around in radioactive liquid. Listen to that funky music. Anyway, can I actually do anything with these buttons? No. Well then, let's be heading down. Intriguing. Uh, I can get more of the health, fortunately. Because I'm a little bit hurt, unfortunately enough. Anyone else gonna be here? Uh, 
don't think that gas was going before, was it? When I was all soldiers are coming. Am I supposed to go down there, I wonder? Or fight? Can imagine that blowing up. Yeah. Oh, that was fortunate that I survived. So, I imagine I can turn this off. And it looks like there's trip mines here too. So I probably should have blown those soldiers up, shouldn't I? Rather than fighting them. Does make me wonder though what's out there now. So I'll put some distance between me and the explosives because they seem more powerful in this. Without they hurt me from a greater distance uh, earlier on. But it seems like I can't get out after all now, doesn't it? I can't see the sky anymore, curiously, either. I imagine it's still there, though. Probably just that little dark thing there, um, obscuring my view of the outer surroundings. Wow, they, those soldiers blasted more holes in the dome than I thought. So I wonder if I hadn't turned that uh, valve before, if the steam wouldn't have actually been on when I came back here. I was worried I'd get hurt uh, with half-lives rather uh, unf Unforgi unforgiving fall mechanics. Are there going to be soldiers down here? Maybe not. Now that we're getting deep into the bowels of this place. Listen to that eerie dripping sound. I radiation area, eh? And protection suits required. Fortunately, I've got my HE. So, for you be alive. I seem to be seriously wounded. Yeah. I don't think I can last much longer. Stop! <laughs> What's this? A flashlight that you had? Don't seem to break up your body either. So let's press on. Seems like a most suitable weapon for these circumstances. There we go. Hmm. Not the kind of place I really want to go. Can I get through here? Doesn't really seem so. Guess I've got to make that daring jump then. Even though it's 
Not very far. Hiya! Oh! Wasn't expecting soldiers, but it sounds like he got uh, pulled up. Possibly by a barnacle. Hiya! Yeah. Let's go. With that assumption. Yeah, stairs is killer. And as your re as your reward, you get some bullets to your hide. So now that we're on this side, let's um, get that uh, health. What do you say? Don't seem to break up the human body. Is curiously enough. Except some of them, that is. Okay then. Let's press on. Let's see what we find in this menacing crawl space. Never mind, I'll let you get eaten. Two birds were one well, two birds were one stone, I suppose you could say. Oh, at least I'm not hearing any enemy any, at least I'm not hearing any enemy sounds now. Why not smart going down there to try and collect that soldier's weapon, is it? Oh, so how do we go then? Is there a soldier up there? Getting pulled away. Anymore? At least I saved that so saved that soldier from getting eaten. If nothing else. So it should appear this is now the scary part of the game, wasn't it? Even though I panicked quite a lot in the earlier parts of the game, there is. So, which way to go now? Is there anything threatening out here which wants to rip my face off? That remains to be seen. I saw a head crab. Let's try and save some of that assault rifle ammunition, eh? And use some shotgun ammunition instead. Like so. Uh, 
Yes, they do enjoy their element of surprise. The head crabs don't die. With their shot tactics and all. Get the assault rifle out again in case anything wants to attack me from afar. What's this over here? Some goodies, it would appear. Most forge. fortunate indeed. And a dead scientist. Wonder if we'll come across any live vortigaunts anytime soon. Could imagine them suddenly beaming in to shout the life out of me. Shout the life out of me. Looks like we might be climbing up into the great outdoors again. Can see the sky after all. Strange how you can crawl onto ladders in this, but not in the main game. Oh, is this that place I wanted to get to, but couldn't to, but couldn't get to before? Seems like it, doesn't it? That place I was wanting to get back to, to try and smash open the, um, the barbed wire fences here. Try and smash open these um, fences. Don't seem to be barbed wire after all. Can't really seem to squeeze past these pipes either. Maybe I've got to like jump out or something. I'll just climb higher up the ladder. Yeah, that seems to be the ticket. I wonder if this is a cooking steam kind of release mechanism kind of thing. But when dear old Granny Smith is cooking her. Um, Top secret recipes for the Black Mesa staff, you understand, dear? Anyway, I wonder if now I need to head on back to where I started, maybe. <laughs> the boss of the You're telling me? How did I get hit before at all? Yeah, the hordes have well and truly arrived to make their assault on the Black Mesa complex here. And yes, they do actually look Pretty much identical to the main game after all. So strange how those other ones that are found burning burning in that file of difference, isn't it? And I would have put it past valve stationing soldiers at those turrets which I was once at. Just checking this again to make sure it's still the same. Even though I just came out of it before, you understand? Seems like there's no... S <laughs> Although I need to remember that this is normal mode and therefore the Vortigaunts don't... They have a long pe wait period before they start, before they open fire. With their electrical zap, you see? And it looks like that's a dorm is still in fine condition, doesn't it? Even though supposedly it had those uh, 
those parts of it blasted out of it by the soldiers when they were there before, when they attacked me in it. Warmer and vaults again. So I wonder if I can get back into that dome. It's doubtful though, but you never know. Yeah, I don't think this fence was here last time, but how is it here then, now? Or maybe it was like opened, uh, maybe it, it had been moved to the side when I was last here, right? And for some reason the soldiers chose to close it after I went on through. Maybe they were hoping they'd trap me in, in the... When I was in that um, dome, eh? When they were attacking it before. These are all plausible possibilities when all said and done. So, let's be heading back. Don't want to leave our compadres waiting after all, do we? I imagine there's going to be more vaults around here too. Wanting to shock me with this sudden unannounced presence. Anyone up there? That's what I'm seeing, but I am hearing those vaulty vocalizations. Any more? Or any up here, maybe? Not that I'm seeing. Don't think I've used any grenades at all here, have I, except for that um, turret earlier on. Hiya! Oh. The soldiers fighting. And thoughts too. But I saw another soldier, I think. And I thought... He's out there. Uh... Oh, another thing I prefer about the old models for the for the sprites and characters and enemies in this game is that with the old model vorticons you can if you shoot them in their big eye it takes more health off them than shooting them in the body whereas the whereas the hd graphics and vortigaunts in the in, in the in the main game if you shoot them in the big eye it doesn't actually take more health off them so yeah so that's why i prefer the old model sprites to an extent because it makes you feel rewarded making good shots against the vaults you see it feels nice and strategic to aim for the eye like that, you see. And it seems like we're getting home again, doesn't it? Back to where we started, even though I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to escape this place. And get back home to safety. So we never actually did get in there, did we? 
in this room, which looks like you had a shotgun. Could just be a ladder in there, it does. It does look like shelves, though. Anyway, here in those vertical vocalizations is making me nervous. So I'd better investigate and see what the deal is. Can I get through? There's like a million of them in there. So what do you say? You use some of the grannies, like so. Didn't like that, did you? Are they all dead? Seems like yes, indeed. There we go. Any more? Oh, yes. Still a lot of them. And now they're all dead. It's an appear. Anyone else here? Hey, Lord, do you drink still here? So clearly none of the soldiers um, um, drank any of them after all. After all, they've got a job to do here, haven't they? They can't be stood around drinking from the refreshment machines. It would have been impressive if my spray paint was still on this window, wouldn't it? That's not to be. Can I not spray paint the vending machine to mark it? And let the world know that it's claimed by Freeman, the Freeman, the Freeman. Okay. Will we find our scientist and secure this guard friends here? Or something worse. I can't grab Don't worry, Barney. Yeah. <laughs> Got another one. Well, no, that was me. I was trying to save your life. Freeman, you who would have thought you'd still be alive? Okay, you can relax now. Since I believe that's the troubles of the world taken care of. Lead the way. Any help for you for all me? Hey Gordon. It can't get any worse than this, can it? Oh yeah, you don't know what You don't know where Wait I was on. fighting outside. You have any idea what's going on. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. So I wonder where we go now. Presumably this way, but Let's see if I can open this door now, which I started from. Guess not. Okay then, let's head out through this door, which uh, we never actually got to go through in the past. Oh, so... There's like nukes here, right? Eh? Get my hands on the guy responsible for this mess. In the United States Nuclear Regulatory co Commission, eh? Hey? Right. Hmm, that's not a welcoming sight. A scientist with a head crab affixed to his head. Any idea how many of our crew have died? Any idea what? Look at me on these pipes now. Aren't I a child, baby dove you was at home? And now I'm on the light. But there's a whole lot of nothing up here, is there? So down I go. You have any idea what's going on? Not particularly. 
I just found myself suddenly here when I loaded the game. Time to refill on our health and suit power like so. To make me feel perfectly good. Well, reasonably good, any. <laughs> Did you see that, Barney? Probably not, given your position, but I digress. I wonder if the hound eyes are going to be friendly in this, considering I heard that. We'd better be careful. Considering how originally in the Half Life beta versions I heard the hound eyes were friendly, but they, t they made them bad. They made them baddies because uh, the playtesters shot them, even though the hound eyes were supposed to be like friendly and help the player against the other baddies. I guess we'll see. Start! I mean, given the how the hound eye keeps running away from me, maybe it won't be aggressive, eh? Oh, oh no! What's that? Why did it just suddenly explode? That was cheap. Shut up. Okay, let's get the help and then... Remember to be more quick on my feet in this next room that we're coming to. Wonder if we can... Hey, so there's more than one of these. Now dies. Also, the red sapling after all. I want to use the shotgun to try and save ammunition. wonder if I actually need to use double barreled headshots uh, with the zombies here. No, that's just on hard mode. So this was what killed me previously, this explosion of the consoles here. So much for the stealthy approach then, eh? Can't use any of these controls, it's the peer. Don't oh, aren't these blood aren't these blood stains unattractive? Let's clean them up to an extent with the cat. What could be in here? Just blackness with a raging fire, is it up here? I'm hearing ominous alien sounds at times. Ever so faintly but unmistakable. Can you actually get through, Barney? No, I don't think you can, sadly enough. Okay then, as the soldiers would say, let's go! I'm not stuck, am I? Come on, you can get out of Freeman. Yeah, that was real. That's a relief. Wonder if this is where I'm supposed to go, or if this is a secret. Yeah, I'll, tr I'll try the door. Yeah, so that little passageway is where I'm supposed to go after all. Hope you're okay over there, Barney. Seems to be acting up a little bit. <coughs> Those sounds. Oh, that's an ominous greeting. Uh. 
listen to the music. Sure sounds mysterious. And we can't open the door from this side either. But there's health. Although I'm full of it, so... Serves no purpose for the time being. Just wanted to see the ceiling. those very deep resonant sounds oh, I can't get through maybe I've got to get through those gaps in the wall or something oh, I didn't like those electrical zaps following along this uh, vent cover in here hope I don't get fried if I try Heading up there, hey look, there's um, suit power batteries here, so can I actually touch, can I actually move, uh, I think that might not be smart. I mean, the outside of it looks safer than the inside, so maybe I've just got to be quick heading up here, eh? So I'll just wait for the next zap and then run up for my life. Okay, go Freeman. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't a threat to my health after all. Tough to say, when all's said and done. Oh, I'm hearing those deep, ominous sounds again. Oh. Something big. Oh. I don't want to die! Get back! He had a bad day. Okay, I'll just try and quickly and quietly back away. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh no, he's coming after me. Can't, I can't get out. Oh, what's happened? So that was just supposed to happen, and I've uh, apparently completed the game. Yeah, so that's it. I wonder how long it took me. But I did it without dying too much, so yes, I feel good about that. Too bad, I suppose. So, so until next time, baby doll viewers at home, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.